I was just wondering uh, how long this bath of yours was going to take. Talking to you there, buddy. Is it going to take long? Because I, I kind of planned on doing a coffee review over here. So I was just wondering how long it was actually going to take. Any ideas? Like 10 minutes? 5 minutes? You're just super happy to be there, aren't you? Okay, well, I'll leave you alone. I swear, every time I get this thing out, he's, I get the table out, and he's just like, let's go. See, the reason he wants on this table is he's eyeballing my dresser up there. He's judging the distance, you know? He's got the he's got the, the wind mileage, distance, how long he can jump. He's like a sniper. He's got it dialed in, and he's like, all right. Wind, flying like that way, so I need... To jump a little bit that way, and judging for distance and the rotation of the earth, he's eyeballing that he wants up there so bad. I don't think you can make it from here to there, Cinnamon. You're good. Now, you've made some impressive jumps, but I don't think you can make it that far. You see, you keep looking up there. I got a box. I got King of the Monsters up there. Believe it or not, I got a, a King of the Monsters. In fact, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to pick you guys up if that's okay. You're coming with me. All right, so... I have Mr. King of the Monsters here, guarding the spot. I got Batman here. Both of these have been knocked over by Cinnamon. King of the Monsters and the goddamn Batman Zero. Cinnamon, one point. The King of the Monsters and the Dark Knight don't stand a damn chance when we got the original Sin here. I think we all can agree that this is the best looking bag of beans that Dead Sled has ever made, right? For obvious reasons. What's up, you beautiful people? I'm your host of Danger Dave, and welcome, friends, back to Danger Dave's Coffee Cafe. And uh, it's been a minute. It's been a solid minute since I've done one of these. And the reason for that is uh, I've ordered, in fact, pre-ordered, a couple of different types of coffee. And I've been waiting for them to come in. And then I ordered more coffee. And so I just figured, you know what? We just might as well just wait for all the coffee to come in and try them all at once. And today, ladies and gentlemen, she needs no introduction. You know her, you love her, straight from Dead Sled Coffee, officially licensed Elvira, Mistress of the Dark Coffee. And, uh, just, man, back in the day, not even back in the day, even still today, the entire world, guys and gals alike, are just in love with Elvira. She is just that pop culture icon that has just stood the test of time. You know, ever since her Elvira's movie macabre, and especially her uh, movie. Uh, in fact, there's a couple of them, if I remember correctly. Uh, there's Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, which is good. And then uh, there was Elvira... Uh, well, not Haunted House, uh, Haunted Hill, I believe is what it was called. And that one was great from what I remember. I haven't watched those in a minute. I should actually go do that. Uh, after this, uh, coffee review. And, uh, if you haven't watched any of those folks, what are you doing sitting here watching this asshole try coffee? Go watch Elvira's Movie Macabre. And Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. They're just great. It's just solid stuff, man. And then come back. Because uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, but I do remember uh, watching some of Elvira in, uh, back in the day when I was a kid. Didn't watch too much of it. Uh, because uh, every, like, every time October 1st hit. And then they would have like all those 
only goodies. Uh, you had uh, Tales from the Crypt, uh, definitely the reruns of Elvira Movie Macabre. Uh, sometimes I would do like throwback weeks and you would have stuff like uh, The Vampire Show, uh, and then they would show uh, the Munsters, and then they would uh, show uh, the Adams Family, which I always liked the Munsters better. Uh, that was always my preferred show. Uh, but all that stuff was great. And some of the stuff was super cheesy, and then some of the stuff was kind of scary because, you know, I was a kid back then, and I didn't really like scary stuff. But nowadays it's totally different. Like, I can watch horror movies and play horror games and just see the worst of the worst and just go, eh, I've seen worst. Uh, but yes, uh, this is something I've been uh, looking forward to for quite some time. I pre-ordered it uh, when the pre-order went out, and you also got this really cool Elvira coaster. Uh, I'm kind of scared to use it, because I don't want to get it, like, dirty and, and destroyed and whatnot. I don't know, this might just be something in my collection. It's, uh, I'm not really sure what it's made of. It is a I mean, you can kind of bend it. Don't bend it too much, because it looks too good. Uh, but it is a nice little coffee coaster. I think I will use it for this episode. Just don't want to get it dirty, you know what I mean? And then, like I said in the intro, folks, this has got to be the best looking bag of beans uh, that Dead Sled has created. Just for obvious reasons, but just the colors. You know, you got the blue, and of course you got Elvira, and then on the back, I hope you can see this stuff. If the camera light is blinding you guys, I'll definitely uh, put up some pictures on there so you can see it better. Uh, but it looks really, really good. And of course, with all dead sled coffees, we get a little bit of a kind of like uh, facts about Elvira on uh, the side here. When you hear the name Elvira, only one person comes to mind. Horror icon and quintessential symbol of all things spooky... The one and only Mistress of the Dark. Back in 1981, who could have imagined the hostess of a local horror movie show would become a household name? Elvira was the first horror horror host ever to be syndicated nationally and has emerged as one of today's most original and outrageous pop culture icons. Uh, you see her a lot uh, in just different shows like Booberella. From uh, The Simpsons, that's obviously an Elvira. I don't know, Elvira inspiration right there. You guys get a good shot of uh, Mr. Cinnamon's fuzzy butt right there. Played by actress and writer Cassandra Peterson, Elvira has carved out a niche in popular culture, culture that is sure to endure for decades to come. And then we get a uh, some uh, notes about the coffee itself. Uh, so it's uh, Honduras, and then... Rwanda, Colombia, Bali, and the elevation notes, if you guys care about this sort of thing, is uh, 1,600 meters, which uh, the elevation of coffee can, you know, make it taste different and add different qualities to it. Coffee's just kind of weird that way, you know what I mean? I mean, if you plant anything at different elevations, it, it tends to affect how it grows and whatnot. Uh, with tasting notes of baking chocolate, pleasant bitters, and a dark berry finish. Uh, so, yes. This is definitely the best looking bag of beans they've uh, put together. And it is a dark roast. Uh, I believe it's a French dark roast. Looks so good. Now, when you look out Elvira and Vampira, you can definitely see that uh, Elvira took a little bit of inspiration from Vampira. In fact, there was a little bit of controversy uh, between the two, because they both had, you know, the long black revealing dress, and uh, Elvira at the end of her shows would say, So whenever you want to get up close and personal, you know where to find me. Until next time, unpleasant dreams. Which sounds an awful lot like Vampira's. Unpleasant dreams, darlings. And, uh, you know, uh, Miss Nermy, she actually, uh, sued the show, and, uh, I don't believe if she, I think she just sued this show, I can't remember if she sued Cassandra or not, uh, but for character infringement, uh, but, you know, the courts, uh, you know, their decision was in favor of Elvira, and, you know, the rest is, uh, 
history. And ever since then, folks, I mean, like I said, the entire world was just in love with Elvira. Guys and gals alike, you know, just the whole, you know, gothic valley girl vampire personality just really caught on. And she's just that one, you know, one of many, you know, just icons that you see and you instantly recognize her. Uh, but enough chit-chat, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and try out this coffee fit for any creature of the night. But especially mistresses of the night. I'm still worried about my coaster. I don't want to damage it. <laughs> it smells kind of bitter. It has kind of a bitter smell. You just hanging out, Mr. Sin? I mean, I'm sure that's fine. I'm, it, I'm sure the audience would rather look at you than my ugly mug. It's bold. It has a very bold and kind of bitter smell to it. It's very noticeable. Like, it, like when it enters your nose, you're just like, whoa, that's definitely bold. I dig it. I dig the boldness. Cinnamon. I, I do want to be in the shot a little bit. <laughs> Cinnamon, you are being a camera hog. Okay, this is this is probably not going to work. I am going to politely scoot you this way. Is that okay? Is that okay if I scoot you that way? Okay. I'll get you a treat afterwards, okay? Alright, let's try it. That's definitely a dark roast. That's definitely a dark roast. <laughs> God, Cinnamon, you're ridiculous. Okay, Cinnamon, how about you hop down? Bye bye! <laughs> Silly cat. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely a dark roast. I definitely taste the baking chocolate. Ooh. I got like a berry finish on that back one. You could definitely tell. It was definitely like a back taste of berry as it was going down. The most, the two flavors I'm tasting the most is the baking chocolate and the bitters. And you have, it's a dark roast, so it's always, it's kind of naturally bitter. But it's pleasant. And then every once in a while, in a gulp, you'll taste the, the, the dark berries going down. Yeah, because there is the berries. Mixed with the chocolate. And dark roast is generally always kind of bitter, but there's like pleasant bitters in there. This stuff is really good. This is like a good dark roast. Yeah, this stuff is really good. I know I say that every damn time. Uh, I plan on fixing that. I'm going to tell you about that in a second, folks. Oh, but dead sled, man. Everything they make is just good, you know? It's just good, and this is no different, man. You know, and if you put Elvira's name on it, it had better be good, you know? It better not just be, like, some cheap gimmick, you know? Uh, but I pleasantly say, it's good. This is, this might be, like, my, my new favorite dark roast. Like, not gonna lie, this stuff is really pleasant. This is really good. I also made this in my uh, uh, Chemex pour over. So it definitely tastes a lot better than coming out of a, a drip uh, coffee maker. This is good. I 
And it's very easy drinking, too. Like, I have a... He doesn't work uh, there anymore, but a friend at work, uh, he liked... Uh, no, he liked dark roasts. Or did he like light roasts? I can't remember, but we were talking about coffee, and he was talking how, like... You know, uh, lighter roasts are a little bit, you know, easier to drink. They go down a bit smoother, but dark roasts are more bold. Uh, but this is an easy going down dark roast. You know, it's not like super dark and bitter. You know, it's got the bitterness, but then you've got the flavors of the baking chocolate in there. And then that swoosh of like the dark berries, which really makes it very pleasant to drink. That was delicious. That's getting the Danger Dave fucking seal of approval on that one. Uh, I kind of figured I would, but you never know. Uh, you never know till you try. Uh, but that shit was good, man. I fucking like it. And I like the bag, too. I'm keeping that bag, by the way. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Gets the Danger Dave seal of approval on that one, folks. Uh, and I know I keep saying that <laughs> on every damn coffee that I do, but it's true. It's just good. Uh, but I'm going to fix that here pretty soon. I'm actually going to uh, go to Bones Coffee, and I'm going to do uh, their sampler pack. And I'm going to pick some coffees that I'm pretty sure I won't like. There will be some in there that I'm curious. Uh, and there's there's one called Pistachio. I'm definitely getting that one because I'm pretty damn sure I'm not going to like that. I mean, I like pistachios, but like a liquid pistachio? No. Thank you, sir. I can do without that. Uh, but that'll be a little bit later on because I need... My cabinet is just plumb full of coffee that I gotta uh, try for you guys. Uh, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you're interested in the Elvira coffee, I don't know... If they have any more bags, I forgot to check before I do this. I should really do that before I do these, but I'm pretty sure that they do have some uh, left over. But anyways, I will put uh, the Dead Sud link in the description below. And uh, that is going to be all the time I have for this episode. As always, if you like this episode, you know what you gotta do. I love you guys and unpleasant dreams.